Since the dawn of trade, when people still exchanged products through bartering, humanity has been seeking ways to conduct business in exchange for something that has universal value. It was through this idea that the first coins emerged, and precious metals such as gold and silver became items of great value accepted by different civilizations. In the ancient world, many civilizations used distinct currencies, and sometimes it was difficult to negotiate without the existence of a universal value. In the modern world, part of this problem still persists. Many countries use their own currency, such as the Brazilian real or the Canadian dollar, for example. However, international trade has already evolved significantly, and today international negotiations do not face as many problems dealing with different types of currency as in the past. The international market is heavily based on a currency that has dominated the world for almost a century, the dollar. This has a great impact on us, directly affecting our finances. The influence of the dollar in our lives is so great that you probably have at least some notion of how much it is worth today on the date you are watching this video. The fact is that the dollar is very well accepted as an international currency, but for the first time in a long time, the hegemony of the American currency may be at risk. The competitor, the Chinese Yuan. Although it may seem a little strange since no one uses this currency here and little is said about it, in another development of the trade war with the United States, China has been executing a strategy to strengthen its currency and compete with the dominance of the American dollar. This leads us to ask, how does China intend to dominate the global financial system? Is it really possible to beat the dollar? But before exploring these questions, it is important to understand how the dollar became the most important currency in the world in the first place. The Rise of the Dollar Until the beginning of the 20th century, the United Kingdom was the great world power. The British exerted the greatest influence over the world, mainly because they had the best economy in a vast colonial empire around the planet. Therefore, the official British currency, the pound sterling, was the reference when it came to global trade. Besides being the oldest currency of all that are still in use, with an origin that dates back up to 1,200 years ago, the pound was used in most international negotiations in the early 20th century. But at that time, the United States was already growing significantly and had a strong industry that benefited when European allies needed help in the First and Second World Wars. During these two critical periods, the U.S. provided weapons, ammunition, and other war materials to the Allied countries, which made the American economy grow considerably. From the 1940s, the U.S. economy surpassed that of England, and the U.S. dollar began to gain strength in the international market. In addition, the Bretton Woods Agreement in 1944 established the dollar as the international reserve currency, linking it to the price of gold. This meant that countries could exchange dollars for gold at a fixed rate, which ensured the stability of the American currency. However, the 1970s brought significant changes to the global economy. With growing inflation in the U.S. and external debt increasing, the country could not maintain the value of the dollar in relation to gold. In 1971, U.S. President Richard Nixon suspended the convertibility of the dollar into gold, which led to a devaluation of the currency and a decline in international confidence in the dollar. Despite these challenges, the dollar has remained the world's most important currency due, in part, to the strength of the U.S. economy and the country's political stability. However, in recent years, the rise of China as a global economic power has challenged the hegemony of the dollar. The Chinese government has been investing in its currency, the yuan, to make it more attractive to international investors and reduce its dependence on the dollar. While the yuan is still far from surpassing the dollar as the dominant currency in the world, the situation could change in the not-too-distant future. China has a huge population and economy, and if it continues to grow, it could become an even bigger force in the global market. This means that competition between the dollar and the yuan could intensify even more. With China's rise as an economic power, the yuan has gained prominence on the international stage. The country has the world's second largest economy and is the largest trading partner of many countries, including Brazil, which is a key economy for many countries due to its position as one of the world's top three exporters of agricultural commodities and the second largest exporter of minerals, 
all due to its extremely mineral-rich soil. Since the 2008 financial crisis, China has been working to make the yuan an internationally recognized and used currency. One initiative to achieve this was the creation of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank AIIB, in 2015, aimed at financing infrastructure projects in Asia and other parts of the world. The AIIB has the yuan as one of its reserve currencies. Another important initiative was the inclusion of the yuan in the International Monetary Funds IMF, basket of currencies in 2016, along with the U.S. dollar, euro, Japanese yen, and British pound. This means that the yuan has been recognized as an international reserve currency. In addition, China has encouraged the use of the yuan in its bilateral trade relations with other countries. In 2022, the yuan's share of trade transactions between China and its trading partners exceeded 20%, a historic record. Despite these advancements, there are still many obstacles for the yuan to become an internationally dominant currency. One of them is the lack of openness in the Chinese financial market, which makes it difficult for foreign investors to access the country's bond and stock market. Another challenge is the perception of a lack of transparency in the country's economic policies. The rise of the yuan as an internationally dominant currency is still an ongoing process and may take several years to materialize. However, it is undeniable that China's growing economic influence and initiatives to strengthen the yuan are a sign that the hegemony of the dollar as an international currency may be at risk. After all, surpassing the dollar as the main currency is one of the objectives that the Chinese government has never hidden and has become increasingly clear with the rise of the BRICS, the economic bloc between Brazil, Russia, China, India, and South Africa, which, by the way, has already surpassed the GDP of the European Union and the United States combined. In conclusion, what do you think the future of the global economy holds for us? Leave your opinion in the comments, don't forget to like the video to support the channel, and subscribe to not miss the next videos. Until next time.